Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm so excited to be with you here today to talk with Brian Stark, a product manager on Google Analytics, about the measurement protocol in Google Analytics 4. Now, this is so exciting to me because the measurement protocol was one of the most loved features in Universal Analytics, and it's finally here for Google Analytics 4. So with that, Brian, I'm gonna hand it over to you to tell us all about it. Thank you, Krista. I'm really excited to talk to you, and I'm, I think the measurement protocol is a super exciting feature in the new Google Analytics. So I, like Krista mentioned, my name is Brian Stark. I'm a product manager working for, for GA. And I'll let me take you to some slides and show you the measurement protocol. So you might wonder, what is the measurement protocol? Well, the measurement protocol is a communications format that lets you send your own event data to Google Analytics over an HTTP post request. It's typically used to send data collected from a, an offline system like a CRM or a credit card validation system it lets you send data that's asynchronous. So it happens after the event that you collect on the web or app SDK. The measurement protocol augments the data you're collecting from the web or app. It's not intended to replace it. You still need to use the SDKs to get a full picture of your users. And for GA4, we introduced this new feature. It's an API key that requires you to assign all the data that comes to the measurement protocol. And what this means is you can ensure that the data that you are sending is actually coming from you and not from some spammer. Now, Brian, that last piece that you just mentioned about this API key, that is super exciting because one of the things that didn't necessarily work that great with the measurement protocol in Universal Analytics is that you were vulnerable to spam or to anyone else sending you data through the measurement protocol. So I'm so excited to hear about this new enhancement, and I know this is going to be really great for our users. That's right. Yeah, we're really excited about this too. We think it's a big step forward for the GA4 measurement protocol versus what was available in Universal Analytics. So let me show you how it works. This is the event builder for the measurement protocol. We provide it so you can understand how to create events. The first thing you'll notice is at the top of the event builder, there is this address here, which is basically the URL which the data must be sent to. It has the URL name, www.googleanalytics.com, and then additional information you have to send, the address, and also the measurement ID, which you see here, and the API secret. Let me show you where to get those. They're both available in the admin section of Google Analytics. So if you go to the admin section, you'll click on your data stream, which can be either an app or a web stream. And here I have a web stream. I'll click on that, and I'll see this details panel. In the upper right, you'll see the measurement ID. You can go ahead and copy that and paste it into the event builder for the measurement protocol. And then down here at the bottom, you see the measurement protocol API secret. If I go ahead and click in there, I'll be able to create an API secret or take one that I've already built. Here I have one that I can go and copy and paste into the event builder. So going back, I now am able to build a measurement protocol. I can enter my API secret as well as the measurement ID. On top of that, I can enter a client ID, which is basically a user ID. This will be either available from the web SDK or you can get it from the BigQuery export. You can also supply your own user ID, just called user ID here, as well as a timestamp. The timestamp can be up to three days in the past and is supplied in microseconds. Finally, you can specify both the event name and any event parameters you'd like to specify. Here, I selected my name, Brian, my height, 73, as additional parameters I'd like to send with the event. And then I set some user properties. In this case, I picked my loyalty level equal to blue. So once I've built the event, the event builder will show it up here. And this is the exact format you need to send to Google Analytics. And here I can go and I go ahead and press and send a couple of events over to GA. And finally, you would go to the real-time report in GA to ensure that the data was formatted correctly and showing up. So if I go to this screen, the real-time report, I'll see down here the event count by event name. And sure enough, those events I just sent over are now available in GA. I can even click in the event and see the event parameters. So there you see my height, 73 has been passed over, as well as my name, Brian. And that's it. You've got a measurement protocol event that you generated and sent to Google Analytics to get your own data into the system. Thank you so much for walking us through that, Brian. It is so exciting to see how the measurement protocol works in Google Analytics 4. And I hope you guys can go ahead and start trying this out today.